Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Night Phase. You follow me on Instagram, you know me as Epic D Media. That's right, we're back, baby. First video of 2021. It's a special one. I'm excited to share it with you guys. This special unboxing, my first ever purchases from the international premium uh, group called Nova Media. They are based off South Korea. And what are they? What do they sell? They sell um, special edition like slip boxes. Of Blu-rays, co collectors editions, lenticulars, steelbooks, and whatnot. So I'm excited. I took advantage of their 50% off sale they were having in December. Uh, funny story about that actually is I intended to get way more. I have four titles to share with you guys. I'm excited, but I plan to get way more than that because it was 50% off. So there was a lot more that I wanted, but unfortunately I couldn't. Because <laughs> this is what happened, okay? Believe it or not, I shit you not, this happened. So if I were to put five items in the cart for some damn reason, <laughs> now I don't know if there was a glitch in the matrix of Nova Media's uh, system or what have you, or did they do this shit on purpose and trying to get people? I don't know. But you will put five items. Anything more than four, if you put like five items or six, the shipping will come out to, I, <laughs> I, I believe it was like nine hundred and ninety nine million nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine dollars. Yeah, yeah, like everything nine 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 nine. Like what in the fuck? Of course, I ain't got that kind of money, <laughs> honestly. So the only way to fix it was to just have. Four items max in the cart. I don't know if they fixed this glitch. I hope they do if they play, if they want me to buy from them, you know, again. But, yeah, man, this shit was crazy. There's no way. You know, I almost fucked up, though. I, <laughs> I actually went through PayPal with it, and PayPal wouldn't allow me. It's like, even PayPal knew my limits. PayPal recognized my wallet. It's like, nah, nah, fam. <laughs> You're reaching here. You're not quite there yet on that Bill Gates status, you know, money-wise. <laughs> Anywho, thought it was a funny story to share. Let's uh, unbox this bad boy right here. Nova Media, as you can see. And I ripped off the postage, but you can see it right there. It says Korea Post right there. Korea. South Korea. Not North Korea. It would never be North Korea, obviously. Um, anywho, without further ado, let's get into the unboxing. Three minutes in. Here we go. Just excited. Been waiting since before Christmas. I placed my order, so it's been a while. It's been weeks. And I figured it'll come late because you know Christmas, the holiday, all that shit. It's a nightmare for shipping for UPS, especially international. Oh boy, so what I got here is I got two um, special slip boxes and then I got two steel books. So let's see what we got here. There it is. Just put the box over here. Wow, they really packaged this up. Bubble wrap. Lots and lots of bubble wrap. I'm excited. This is my Christmas gift, damn it. This is what I wanted. Okay? This is how I win. <laughs> so we just unfolding the damn bubble wrap all the way. And not I don't edit shit out. This is uncut raw. <laughs> just skip through this part if you need to. We're just gonna keep doing this. Okay, this first wave of bubble wrap is over. Here comes the second wave. Whoop the fucking do. <laughs> All right, we got to the first uh, first uh, movie here, and I had to get this one. It was hard because I wanted it. Like I said, I had like six, seven, maybe eight items I, I had in mind, but I could only pick four because of that ridiculous like shipping glitch. So I had to have this because this is. This movie's in my top 10 favorite movies of all time. It will forever be. I love it to death. I just can relate to it a lot from this character. And that is Goodwill Hunting. Just look at that. 
finally owned like a I'm kind of this is a premium edition. That's what it is. I absolutely love this film. This is my favorite Robin Williams performance. May you know, may he rest in peace. God rest his soul. Robin Robin Williams just staple. Just in film, just oh man, just this movie gets to me seriously. And you're probably thinking, well, how could you relate to a mathematician? Not that part, not that fantastical part of the movie. I can relate to uh, the character of Matt Damon because of his psychological like issues that, the, that he's battling, you know, when he has to go to therapy and, you know, he has like the defense mechanism where he like tries to push people away when he really doesn't want to. It's just the, the way he is. He's always very self-guarded when it comes to uh, meeting new people and trusting people. He has trust issues. And a lot of that has to do with his upbringing you know he went through like abuse and all that so yeah without getting too personal you know i can kind of relate to that you know him having some 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 of these issues and yeah and just finding peace with that and self-acceptance towards the end it's just a beautiful message beautiful movie and you know i laugh i cry every time i watch it just one of the best uh, i love the romance here the romance is so good. One of my favorite romantic stories. Because it doesn't go the way you expect it to go. So, good little hunting. Um, let's unbox this. Take this out of the, the case here. And I'm not going to try to mess this up. <laughs> let's see here. Let's do it from, from here. I'm nervous, guys. I'm nervous. I don't want to fuck it up. Yeah. There you go. <clears throat> this comes with just the slip box. That's the nice packaging. It comes with like a standard um, Blu-ray kind of case. Not like not like Blu-ray case, but it comes in these white Amaray cases. I believe that's what they call them. So there you have it. It's Goodwill Hunting. It's pretty nice shot, uh, and then in the back as well. And if I'm not mistaken, this is. Uh, region A, I hope, <laughs> but it comes with some nice, like, like you know, postcards. Really awesome. I'm not gonna open that because it's too soon to open that. Uh, nice uh, disc, beautiful disc artwork right there with the equations that he be drawing. I just love this movie. You have not seen this movie? Oh my god, do yourself a favor and watch this movie. This movie's one of the best ever made. Seriously, just. Love the booklet that comes with the pictures right there. Matt Damon when he was young, man. Everybody's like old now. Holy shit, I feel so old. How young he was. Uh, Ron Williams as his um, psychiatrist. I, just, I love these scenes together. Beautiful. I'm telling you, I can watch this movie over and over again. It's just inspirational. It's beautiful. It's It's everything to me. It's just a perfect movie for me. My favorite drama of all time, possibly. Um, yeah, just awesome. Great addition to own, to have. As Goodwill Hunting from Nova Media. Appreciate it, Nova Media. Just, oh my God, I love it. Beautiful, beautiful. So we just set you on the side right there. Okay, next one up is. Uh, oh. Let's, uh, before we get to the Steelbooks, let's get, let's get right here. There's a 4K, actually. Surprisingly, there is a 4K. <laughs> okay, and the 4K is Leon the Professional. Sorry for that glare. The reflection, I mean. Leon the Professional. It comes with this nice, clear plastic on the wow. With well, John Reno. I absolutely love this movie. The Steelbook came out. There's a Steelbook that recently came out. Uh, me being the minority on this, did not like the artwork for that steelbook. It was just, eh, just like an explosion, and then there's caution tape, and then Leon is like hugging Natalie Portman, like, oh shit, we're about to blow up. That's it. Uh, no, <laughs> wasn't working for me, fam. So I was like, yo, Nova Media, look at this, look at that. Look. Leon just looking up, like, yeah, that's right, fam. Don't fuck with me. The most like brutal hitman. You'll ever come across that has a heart of gold. <laughs> That's what I love about this movie. It's great because he befriends 
Matilda and um, there's the cover back cover art right there. It's beautiful. Now the professional with a young Natalie Portman. It's a, it's a 4K. Hell yeah, 4K, baby. I'm excited for this. I'm actually going to probably pop this on tonight. It's going to be fun. Because this is one of my all-time favorite movies of the 90s. I grew up watching this movie. My dad loves this fucking movie. He, I, I, I lost count how many times I grew up watching this movie. We we'll always watch it with my dad. So this movie holds a special place in my heart. It really does, because my dad loves this movie, and it has one of my favorite, I mean, absolute favorite, Gary Oldman performances. Fuck Mank. Fuck all the other boring movies he's been in, like Tinker Taylor Soldier. Who gives a fuck? Fuck those movies. Okay, there's only two performances from Gary Moore. It is more than that. <laughs> Fifth Element, Dracula, Batman Begins, and Leon. And Leon, he's fucking batshit crazy. Gary Oldman, he just like loses his fucking mind. He listens to like Mozart and just starts shooting people in the fucking face. <laughs> Seriously, I, I love his performance. It's over the top, just over the top as far as villains can go, but. Gary Oldman owns it. Okay, there's a nice clear shot of the cake. Just, I like that nice, like glossy looking matte black. It's so nice. Oh man, this is embossed too. What? The Leon is embossed. You can see 4K Ultra HD bar. Look at that. Some nice shots there. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh man, just gushing over how nice the slip box is. And, and this is embossed as well, right here. Nova Media, this is straight up fire. Way better than that. Like Steelbook. And also the Steelbook did not have inside artwork, which I'm a stickler with. I, no, you don't do that. <laughs> what are you, pop art now? I need my inside artwork. Come on, now. So let's just get it out. Come on. Get it out of there. Another beautiful shot. I like when it has different artwork in the inside like this. Look. Sorry, I'm just trying to get the right angle here. Leon. Leon. That's an awesome um, sequence right here when he's training her. How to be a sniper. How to be an assassin. I like it. Love it. And you got the disc artwork. It's just so badass. Look at that. Look, 4K disc. Fuck yeah. Look at this. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. It's not even a steelbook. It doesn't have to be. Just look, if you do it like this, then it doesn't have to be a steelbook. Look how awesome that is. It's like artwork, the disc artwork for the Blu-ray and the 4K. Fuck yeah. Region A, baby. That's what I'm talking about. This like artwork right there. Just absolute perfection. Him loading up the guns. The One of the best action sequences ever filmed towards the end. Like, he gets in a big shootout with the police, and it's like, Fucking mind blowing, like just so epic. I love it. I love it. I love it. This movie, one of the greatest action movies ever made. Can't stress that enough. Leon, the professional. That's right. Leon. Love it. Oh. No, but y'all killed it with that release. Y'all killed it. All right. Now we're going to get to the steel books. Uh, <laughs> funny enough, this stars both of these movies. Star a uh, specific actor. All right, I'm just gonna show you both. Oh, we got Taken and the Gray. Yeah, Liam Neeson double feature. These two right here are my all time favorite Liam Neeson movies. So when I saw that they're both lenticular seal books for half the price, fuck yeah. You know, it's funny. Um, <laughs> going back to the Nova Media story of the shipping. Uh, so when they fix the shipping, when it all said and done, I had to pay forty-five dollars shipping. So uh, you don't really save fifty percent off. Technically, you do the math, you're basically uh, saving on the like the shipping, I guess, because it's like you're paying full price, but you, you get free shipping. <laughs> That's what it, you know what I mean. Like I don't know. Anywho, I can't complain because look how fire. The Steelbooks look. Maybe I'll do. What should I do? Taken or Gray? I don't know. They both look good. Oh my god. Should, I, wait, I don't think I want to even unbox this. This shit looks too good. 
Ah, oh, fam, I don't think I'm going to unbox this. I'm sorry to disappoint. <laughs> I mean, I should have cleared that up. But um, let's just take a look at the gray. This is, I'm going to show you from the inside. Look at that. Lenticular one. Look at that. The steelbook is inside, as, as you can see. I'm just, I'm not ready to do it. I'm just, maybe one day when I will do it. That's why I always say, I always stress, make sure you're following me on Instagram if you're not already. If you're just here on YouTube, follow me here on YouTube. I appreciate you. But follow me on Instagram as well if you have Instagram. Uh, it's at Epic D Media. I'll always put it in the description. Just remember that. But anywho, look at the shot of the wolf. Ooh, the wolf looks so mean. That's a mean looking, looking wolf. And this is number 669, thank God. Because it was like those triple six digits. I'm taking it back, man. I don't fuck around with that shit. That satanic bullshit over me. Don't, don't do that to me, all right? Don't do that. Don't fuck with me like that. <laughs> uh, God, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't. Maybe. I don't know. Um, <laughs> the, the gray. The gray. Such an underrated movie in general. Um, remember, I, I remember seeing this in theaters and everybody was like, what the? With the ending. Like, it's, it's like one of those endings where... It ends so abrupt and you don't know how to feel about it. And when it ended, I, I loved the movie. And then when it ended, I was like, I don't know. And then I watched it a second time. I just absolutely love this movie. This movie is one of the best survival stories, like, movies ever made. Like, yeah, just because Liam Neeson just kicks ass in his role. It's so believable as a survivalist in the Alaskan brutal, harsh like cold environment with vicious ass wolves that would just tear your ass up and rip you apart and chop you up into hibachi. <laughs> like these wolves don't fucking play, man. I'm telling you, you haven't seen this movie? Oh my god, watch it. You won't regret it. It's amazing. There's always and there's people don't know this, but there's a end credit scene in this movie that changes the ending as well. It's like. I didn't even know that until the second view, and I was like, oh, shit. And it just made me love it even more. Uh, so, yeah, be sure to watch this movie if you haven't. This is, if you're a Liam Neeson fan, this is one of his greatest movies ever made. And I don't, just, I don't give a shit about the Liam Neeson whatever controversy. That's old music, right? Let's just move on from that. That's just, oh, he said some dumb shit, and he said he was sorry. Let's just move on, okay? It's just like, come on. Like, everybody's always making a fucking witch hunt around everything. Like, I can't believe he said that. What did you talk about it? Like, this one fucking idiot I used to know. He's like, well, you must talk about this. You made a fucking forum, a Crimea River fucking uh, <laughs> forum to talk about what Liam Neeson said. It was so offensive. Like, give me a break. If you don't know what he said, you can Google it. I'm not going to mention it here. Um, but, yeah. The gray. The lenticular is fire. Love it, love it, love it. All right, next one up is Taken. This is, I, I think, yeah, this is the movie that put Liam Neeson on the map for good reason because this is one of the best action movies ever made. One of the most quotable scenes, you already know, you've seen it. It, it, it been mean to hell. You know, the phone scene. Like, I will find you, and I will kill you. And, they, and you, know, <laughs> you know what happens afterwards. Remember me? We spoke on the phone three weeks ago. Oh, shit! <laughs> I love it. Never gets old. I absolutely love this movie. There's uh, his daughter. I will find my daughter. And I will kill you. <laughs> uh, yeah. The Lenticular is absolutely fire. Look at that. The sequels, um, unfortunately, were meh. The sequels, I just don't, I don't care about. They just... They're so throwaway and forgettable and just kind of like, eh. The first one, though, the first one claps. Like, this this is a serious banger. Um, I couldn't watch this any time. This is one of my favorite action movies, honestly. So I'm glad that I got it on this premium steelbook edition from Nova. Man, they killed it again. One that I missed out on that I'm super salty about is Nightcrawler. That was going to be my fifth choice. Lenticular, but unfortunately, no. <laughs> they wouldn't allow me to put it in my damn car. I mean, they did, but then they just you know, cranked up the damn shipping, you know. So the the gray is um, limited to 1,200, those copies. 
So I got 669 from the gray, number 669. This one is limited to 1500, and I got number 1349, as you can see there, 1349, uh, which is fine. I mean, this is, but I prefer a much lower number, but it's all good. Because <laughs> I think the lower, the lower the number, the cooler it is. I don't know. So that shouldn't be a big deal. That's the boss, I mean, the boss, is it? Yeah. Or emboss, whatever you say it. There's some emboss in there, which I like. So there you go. I showed it to you guys. Now I'm ready to unbox these. Maybe one day I will. So is there a rattling in there? No. Maybe a little bit here, but it's okay. So there you have it, guys. That is my Nova Media package. Thanks for watching. We're 20 minutes in. Um, that is my Nova Media haul. Haul <laughs> from uh, 2020 December. Yes. Uh, push comments down below. Let me know if you think these um, editions are pretty cool. If you're unfamiliar with Nova Media, if this is your first time you know, just finding out about it, check out their website. I'm telling you. They got some fire additions, man. Like you would not get in the U.S. So, you know, I always uh, used to like goof off about premium collecting until, you know, I saw all these awesome posts from people from all these awesome international retailers that dish out spectacular, like slip boxes, steelbook, premium special editions. Just to name a few retailers that come to mind, Nova Media, um, Kimchi DVD, Manta Lab. I'm hoping to secure my first Manta Lab soon. That is one of my main goals for 2021. <laughs> Got to get me on some Manta Labs and Film Arena and so forth. There's plenty of them, but they, they put, put out some awesome additions. Anywho, there you have it. That's it right there. Thanks for watching as always. Be sure to comment down below. Let me know, as I said, what you think about these editions. If you're finding my channel for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give this video a like if you want. Follow me on Instagram at EpicDMedia, and I'll catch you guys, as always, in the next one.